Go. Yo, what is up, Soul Fam? It's your boy Chris with Soldier of Life, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you haven't seen this setup before, this is because. Wait, I need my light in here, man. Anyway, okay. But if you haven't seen the setup before, because this is my live streaming setup, uh, this is also another setup for another channel that I'm doing called Minimal Millionaire. That's where you're making money online and all that other good stuff. But right now, what we are doing, we are going to be reacting to some of my old cringier videos. Now, when I say videos, some of them are dumb, some of them are not, but they're just random clips, some that are posted on the internet, just some that are not. So uh, I think I'm going to probably do like six or seven, but that's about it. So the first one we have here is this is one of my, so if you didn't know, I used to make music back in the day um, and I plan on making more music. Actually, my game plan is a lot different than what it was back then, but uh, I used to, when I first got to Germany, um, I had an opportunity of running into a couple different people that kind of promoted me like, yo, if you start making music, maybe we can put some of that stuff out. So I started making music again. And the biggest problem with me is that I like to do everything myself and I don't like to get help. So I make my own music videos. I try to shoot them on my own. I didn't know how to edit. I didn't. It, it, but I try to do everything on my own and it comes with a cost. I joined a service to make it hard for me to know the people that really cared about me. I knew the people that did people that cared about me. But you always been there. <laughs> and as you can tell, I talk way different than I used to talk to. Like that whole down the whole use hallway beat up. I don't I don't know who that guy is anymore. And now I see that. It's time for me to make my journey home. A lot of people ain't gonna like it. A lot of people ain't gonna like it. No nobody cares. And this scene, I don't know where I got this seed from, but I tried to watch this. <laughs> Who is Akiris? <laughs> that is the most horrible voiceover I've ever heard in my life. That voiceover, hold on, that voiceover was horrible. Who is Akiris? <laughs> That voiceover is absolutely horrid. It's morbid. Jesus. I don't know who's seeing I stole this from. Look at that. Edit job. Of Now, you know, the funny part of this video, I was still in the army, but I got in trouble and I was transitioning on getting out and I was actually supposed to be like cleaning the vehicles and like staying productive. Instead, if you don't watch me, I will make a music video on your head. <laughs> my bae, my bae. Yeah, that's that. But if you want to check out that video more, I'm not telling you where to find it. There's no way. So in this video here, this is the very early stages of my YouTube career, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this was a gym commercial. Um, there was a commercial in my city called like Everest. So it was like getting people to come to their school and like why you should do it. And um, this commercial that I built was like a parody of that. And I was in um, Afghanistan at the time, so I was big into fitness and stuff. And this is the video that I made for that. Hey, what are you doing? You're sitting there on the couch with the remote, watching TV. What the hell are you even watching? All right, get your fat ass in the gym. All right, GYN. They got trainers here. All right. Okay, so first of all, look at that fresh baby face, like super babied out. Um, third of all, like this video, it was fun to make, but one thing, in a, in this building right here that we're in, it's a tent, it's literally just a tent, and um, the, the noise coming from it is a huge fan that's filling the tent with air. 
and that's literally all you can hear from the audio i hear me a little bit but between that and then my homeboy holding the camera laughing every five seconds it doesn't make for a good look they're here to help you <laughs> this has been juice sodas eggnog christmas time <laughs> Turkey sandwiches, McDonald's number threes, sleeping. <laughs> Thought of you going outside probably make you sick. <laughs> Fuck. You gonna sit there and go to sleep while I'm talking to you? Think about your significant other. Think about your kids. Think about your kids. They don't they hate, hate you. <laughs> Alright? Do you hear this dude laughing? Like what type of professional setup can I sit do and my cameraman's always laughing? People talk about you behind your back. Alright? <laughs> it's disgusting. Alright, got mustard stains on your shirt. Probably can't find a remote. That smell like potato chips, chicken noodle soup, onion rings, Denny's, if I hire a maid. <laughs> you looking at my pets? Alright, this can be yours too. Why are you making it so damn difficult? Call your local membership, get your fat ass up. Alright, get up, call them. It's too easy. Me talking to you, all right? Get up, call him right now. Hey, don't go to sleep. Get up, all right? The fuck up. Get up. Get, get up. It was, uh... <laughs> I don't mind that. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. So, the next video is my promotion video. Um, when I first came to Germany, like five, six years ago, I don't know, we had a show. Um, a, a rap show or whatever um, and a lot of local people that did music and stuff like that coming down to this new club that was opening up and we were actually opening for an artist that was here so this is our uh, what's it called this is our um, I don't know advertisement video uh, hey what's going on bro it's your boy J for you that's your boy Kyrus and we off get it boy that's right to get it boy it's the grand open of a new club Area 51 Hosted in Amber. Got a lot of new people coming out. A lot of fresh artists. Of course, we got some special guests coming out with us. Dave Dumas, the COVID, Mr. Middle. Look at those transitions, bro. Look at that cube transition. Sean, of course, we got DJ Mike Nice. Army's number one DJ already, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. check us out. It's already headed up. Street Kid Fly Guy, OC Entertainment, Hustle Vision. Y'all already know they doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? If you're jumping on a party bus, go ahead and get that already ASAP. You do not want to get your seat taken already, you know what I'm saying? I said already like nine times. Hey, already. We already out here already. So come out here already and <laughs> Super nervous. Hey, don't miss this event. January 17th. Come out, support us. You know, support everybody. Drinks on deck. Hookah bar for all y'all smokers. And of course, VIP section with a red carpet photo shoot. This shit gonna be live. I'm telling you, man. So you already gonna see your pic. You already gonna see. Just on the Facebook. On, on the, the Twitter. On the Twitter. On the Instagram, man. We in that bit. Get it, boys. Don't say it. Oh, this right here. This event right here was actually a party bus event. It's a longer video for this. But uh, these dudes... Went on a party bus. And obviously, this is soldiers being soldiers. But they were outside of the bus arguing for like 20 minutes about nothing. I don't even care what they were talking about. And we were ready to leave. I was ready to go. And I didn't want to be that guy, but I had to go outside. And I was like, yo, like if y'all don't stop arguing and get on this damn bus, like both of y'all gotta fight me. Like I, I was basically trying to reenact like I was the end boss on Mega Man or something. But it was like the most annoying thing ever. And then they end up fighting anyway. <laughs> they end up fighting each other anyway. Man, we in that big crazy boys, don't say it. So if you in Stuttgart, Berlin, uh, Georgia, Alaska, Antarctica, bring your ass. No. So if you're in Antarctica, you have a free invitation to our little small party here in Germany. Saying, right here. Bring your ass, Area 51, we in that bit. I dare you to be more turned up than the Get It Boys. You know what I'm talking about? Stay turned up. Already, Get It Boys. Yeah, this is, that was my editing back in the day. Like five, six years ago, that was my editing. It was, uh, it was high class. It was second to none. It was second to none. And actually here, so I also have here, this is our, this is my section of the performance at the club. Hey, Chris, Chris. I say I, I say that word a lot in that song. 
like a lot. So let's do like two more videos. So this is when I very first started YouTube. This is like 10, I want to say 10 plus years ago. Um, being in the army, it was super hard for me to do it. There was no real vision for YouTubers at the time. And it was just something fun to do at the time. But nobody took it seriously like a business like we do now. But uh, this video I made after like the popular video that came out talking about, uh, what is it? Like what, how, what, like ish white people say? I think it is. I can't remember. But this is like the opposite version. I don't know. This might be so cringe. I can't watch it. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this Windows media intro, bro. What the fuck is world star hip hop? <laughs> God damn, that was heavy. Don't you have like a job to go to or something? Man, that nigga ain't gonna call me back for that job. Why do you guys brush your hair so much? Yeah, I ain't got shit else to do, so what? <laughs> but this is horrible. This is horrible. This is me like 10, this is a long time ago. This is horrible. Yeah. And the funny story, you see these glasses right here? Like these are army approved, gla army appointed glasses. And my girl at the time, like she went with me to go get uh, glasses and she was like, yo, don't you think about getting those ugly granddaddy glasses? I was like, yo, I get whatever glasses I want. So when she said that, I was like, hey, guess what? Guess what my new glasses are? <laughs> I got them just to spite her. Don't play with me. I'm sure you're a nice guy. I hope pay, bro. Where the white girls at? Could you stay away from my daughter, please? It's because I'm black, isn't it? I don't want her to have any of that baby mama drama. Hey, man. I wonder what fake titties feel like. I wonder how much welfare really costs. Bullshit. I should rob your ass right now. <laughs> I can't watch this anymore. I cannot watch this anymore. That goes on for way too long. It was uh, an experience. Uh, so we're going to bring it back up to, oh, yeah, I think it's here. So we got about, let's say about two more. So I think it's this one. I don't want to play it because it has music in it. So this video right here, yeah? So if you didn't know, like I said, in another lifetime, I did music. When I first got to Germany, I started doing music again. And uh, there's, there was this kid, there was a soldier, right? I was, I, I was his, one of his leaders. So I you're not really supposed to like ask soldiers to do you favors or intermingle and stuff like that. But there was this dude and he, he was into video and I didn't know anything about video at the time. And I told him, you know, hey man, if you, come to this show if you come to this event with us and just film us i will pay you because i'm trying to put together like a makeshift music video you know i know you're into video and stuff i think i paid him like 50 euro and he was like yo yeah like i don't know how much you ch tried to charge me but he came with us he barely filmed me at all he filmed all the soldiers that he wanted he looked up to he wanted to be friends with he barely filmed me at all use my camera i paid for him to get in the club and I still, he still tried to charge me 50 euro. I think I gave him like 30. Cause I was like, dude, you used all my equipment and you had a free night. Like, and you didn't even film me at all. Like, it, yeah. But this is that video. I don't think I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go all into it. Yeah, so this is what, 60 years ago. Look at this. Literally, the reason I'm showing these people is because there's rarely fillage of me, and I needed it for my section of the video. Like this dude right here, right? So this dude right here on the right, this dude, he really wanted to be cool with him. So, he, but he had nothing to do with the song. He was just some dude that came with us to the club. It's my homeboy, but still, like, why are you filming him and I'm paying you and it's my video and my song? 
Like, why is he there? Why am I in the back? <laughs> why is there no light on me? I gave him a light. Why is there no light on me? Okay, I don't want to see this anymore. I don't want to see this anymore. But I'm saying. Yeah, I don't want to say that anymore. Okay. So, second to last video. Right, what is oh shit? <laughs> what is up, Soul Fam? This is Chris here with Soldier. So first of all, this color job. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this color job, my G. Look at these highlights. Look at this background. Look at this white balance. It is horrible this is my first stint in thailand so this is say, about five years ago life uh, in my apartment um in chiang mai thailand and uh i started doing videos now it's a little better it's a little dreamy but this is all right dumb. i tried to become a digital nomad about a month ago and uh in a year um it's going to i'm throwing up the intro well i'm creating the uh, introduction <laughs> video right now um now you know one of the biggest things about doing videos especially now the editing process takes so long because you want to cut all that stuff out you want to try not to do it at all but my ums my thinking my not knowing what to say is horrible yeah so you'll see how it is kind of and the music choice like one thing i always hate about videos is if don't put epic music to something that's not epic and this music is way like it's too hard like tone it down my g kind of like in the daily life of a digital nomad i got up late today because i've been going out like almost every day for a couple days now and i think i'm gonna take you guys with me tonight um it's also gonna show um going out alone as a solo traveler at least i got to the point so not hard it's so not difficult especially when you're traveling in a place where everybody else travels um actually i don't like how easy it is um i kind of like a little challenge see i started spitting out that i started spitting out that knowledge boy that's the hey. of life let's get it hey i have no pants on <laughs> You didn't see that coming. I hope you didn't see the bulge. That was so weird. I don't care. Whatever. We're gonna keep it transparent wow. and consistent. We are. I uploaded that. <laughs> Here, it's Chris with wow. Soldier of Life. Let's get it. Oh man. I, I ain't gonna lie, I missed the foot. This fly, my G. Like I love Thailand, but that was. That was the one of the weirdest experiences I've ever had. I've never had a fly get that close and like all up in my food. This thing was simply, it was drinking my water with me. Can you see that? The fly was drinking my water with me. Gross. Look at, how can I even get this close to my camera? I'll never use that straw, never. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Oh, that was crazy. I like that transition. Oh, yeah. I think this is like dried blood. That's what they tell me. Uh, in I got some extra for dinner because they close at four. Yo, the audio quality is trash here, my G. And one thing about Thailand, too, you got to know, like, I always know Thailand and like Vietnam and countries like that part in Southeast Asia by these power lines. This power line, this power line gang be crazy which is like in 10 minutes. So uh, I have a lot of work to catch back up on the computer. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get ready to go out. Bro. Uh, so yeah. My audio okay, game, bro. All right, what up, what up, what up guys? All right, so today, what we're gonna be doing is, well, it's nighttime now. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show uh, you guys how I get ready to go out and I'll show you. Oh, I think this is the I dance part is I get myself prepared early in the day. You go out by yourself, all right? Self-explanatory, right? Shave it. But step number two, always, before I go- This I'll is my attempt of like giving you tips. Your favorite music, whatever gets you hyped. Cause even when you go somewhere and they're not playing what you're playing, 
you can remember those vibes that you were having earlier. Hey. Vibes, you know, even if I'm here in Texas. This is real talk, though. Oh, well, the audio is probably going to be crap. Yeah, right the now, audio but, is definitely crap. So definitely crap, that. my G. And then, yeah, I'm about to do step number one and two. Hey. And then we're going to pop out, leave the house, hey. and get on hey. step number three. What you know about it? Ooh, ooh. What you know about it? Ooh, ooh. What you know about it? Hey, hey, hey. Go Chris, go Chris, hey, hey, pop some, do some, hey, pop some, do some. <laughs> Yo, for real, for real, funny thing about stuff like this, if you know me in person, oh my God, if you know me in person, this is me, always, always, I change for nobody, I change for nobody, I don't do this for YouTube, this is me always, if this camera wasn't here, I probably would still do this dance, I would, I still would have did that dance. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 go Chris, shake it, shake it, go Chris. I saw, now wow. Horrible intro. All right, step number three. Make sure as soon as you... So the one thing also with YouTube, with doing a journey like this, your camera, your equipment, all the stuff that you have, it doesn't matter as much as you think it does. Now, obviously, I didn't know what I was doing, and this is trash equipment, but the thing that I got out most from these is the the, the act of doing them, the act of talking on camera, the act of keep going even though you don't have the best stuff, even though people might judge you, even though it's great and you hate it, put it out anyway. There's no excuses. Put it out anyway. Stop thinking so much. Even with this video, I'm going to edit. I'm crunched on time, my G. Very bad. But I'm going to put it out anyway. And then tomorrow, I'm going to put it out anyway. I'm going to put it out anyway. Like, that is the big part of doing things like this. You keep knocking until you get better stuff. I didn't have the stuff, a lot of the stuff that you see in the background now. I didn't have that here. I had nothing. I had an iPhone 4, I believe. No audio. I didn't know any about that stuff. I didn't think it was important. But put it out anyway get to the place which i just hopped up uber you probably can't even see me can't see me because you're dark yeah. sound like kiss up on some girls you better eat good food man pineapples get some sh and you gotta think about this i'm going out by myself i got ready by myself i'm talking to myself like everything is, i had no following like this is stuff you gotta go through travelers let's do this <laughs> I don't want to get demonetized. Yeah, so you can't hear me at all, but this is me like after getting to see, um, meet new people, just talking to everybody, whatever. And my voice was gone because I was yelling so much. Make sure you gotta get, and you gotta talk to me when you be That's basically what that was. Right, what up guys so um yes it was another amazing night oh, i forgot what else happened it was a couple other things happened but <coughs> oh yeah i got some female contacts yeah um, so this yeah basically now, like right? getting a couple of numbers being like i got invited to a wedding like yeah this, this is just normal stuff that was just normal stuff so the last video we have here What's now the one thing about this is we are going to be doing this Again. What's going on, guys? I'm over here with my buddy Chris from yes. Soldier of Life. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. We're over here. So this is my second. This is my second. What's it called? Like featured video. What I was doing with this guy. So if you don't know this guy, it's Dave Ferrada, um, a good friend of mine. He is crushing me in subs. So now we got to get on the ball. I don't like it. But um, he's a dating coach and all this is a good stuff. Um, basically he hit me up after I came up a little bit for Germany. He was in Berlin at the time. I was like, yo, you, he was like, yeah, Yo, you want to do a video? I was like, yeah, sure. And he's like, oh, we can talk about this. Let's talk about this. Like, uh, no, I want to talk to girls. Like, if that's what you do, that's what we're going to do. It's like, yo, cool for real. You know how hard it like, blah, blah, blah. So that's what we did that day. And the thing about it is, is this is something that I've done before in Australia for a a good amount of time you know I taught for a little bit and uh, he he's a coach and um, we just had different styles but 
Um, this was actually a very fun day. Now, a lot of things that people don't know is that in these videos, especially recently, you know, um, people, this type of content on YouTube, um, creators have been taken down, deleted their accounts. But it's important that you keep the confidentiality of the people unless they actually agree to the video. And, uh, like it just it's hard to get good shots man so this video it might have looked like it took us 20 minutes to make this is an all-day video this is a nine o'clock ten o'clock in the morning video to seven at night like it was an all-day video in berlin germany and today we're gonna be why am i chewing my gum like that approaching some more girls on the streets are you ready for battle bro roger that let's do it i'm gonna hop in there with the first approach Hey, excuse me. Hello? Uh, from Sweden. From Sweden? <laughs> What's your name? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, so my dog, Ooh, the <laughs> thing, I remember he was telling me kind of like about it and his whole game for these types of videos is basically do the approach, tell you the good and bad things that happen, how could you improve if you were to do that, and that's basically how that went. And she ended up having a boyfriend. Uh, <laughs> you're feeling good for the next approach and you hop back in. Look at that so, fresh it's face all good. We're gonna keep making this happen. Now, bro, are you ready to make the next approach? Let's do it. All right, we going in there. Yeah. Hello. 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 And Choligong. And Choligong. <laughs> nah, but um, this was a cool interaction. This girl was really cool. Um, I forgot what we were talking about. I really don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. I cannot tell you. But we were talking for a long time. I think my biggest problem that the David guy had with me is like I would just talk for so long. Like I'm a talker. You know what I mean? Like I I can talk. About it, guys. No matter what your color. Time, right? I wanted to see what it was like. Uh, All right, man. So the from small town. <laughs> they were yelling. And <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Are you? So the ver I guess the very last portion. So I, during this day, I think we both talk to like 10 girls so you got to think like some of them are going to say i don't think anybody said no like they didn't want to give us a number or something but some of them are like you know i don't want to be on camera or like one i remember i forgot totally i forgot all about the camera like i was just talking to be talking and uh this last one like it was like down to the wire it was like dude like you gotta get our last approach so we can get this video done like without your last approach like this video is nothing you know so I was like, all right, man, bet. Like, you know, it was all riding on me. He's like, after this, like, we were trailing this street for, like, I don't know how long. So I see this girl, and I was like, you know what? Like, I was like, nah, man, I'm not, nah. And I was like, yo, what? It's like, no, F this, go. So I ran up on this girl, and she got so scared. Like, I thought she was going to punch me in the face. Cause literally it was a football game across the street so she's walking she looks to the left and as soon as she looks to the right she sees this big black guy in her face like <laughs> sorry i didn't mean to, i didn't mean to scare you you kind of scared me oh do you speak english yes yeah but that was a cool interaction all good funny games but that would i don't know that wasn't that bad I actually, I actually proud of that video. He did a really good job. But that's all I got for you guys today. This is Chris um, reacting to my old cringy stuff. Um, yeah, kind of. I don't know. I don't know. It's all good. It's all good in the neighborhood. But this is day two of Vita, and I will see you guys tomorrow in the next one. That's all I got for you guys today. It's Chris with Soldier Life, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.